is I'm joined by Ubay Shahbanda, who's our analyst in Istanbul. Hi, Ubay. So this is quite the surprise. Do we see a move towards diplomatic solution finally? Well, Aisha, this meeting is very interesting. This is the first time that the remaining signatories to the Iranian nuclear deal following the American pullout and Iran are meeting all in the same place. They were hoping to salvage the deal at a time of increased military tensions in the Arabian Gulf with Iran still holding a British flag tanker um, in retaliation for the UK British Royal Marines capturing and detaining an Iranian super oil tanker. What's interesting here is that Iran's main demands of the European Union signatories, China and Russia, is for to drop the sanctions or to at least lessen the, uh, the degree of sanctions that have proven to be crippling to Iran's economy, significantly damaging its ability to export oil throughout the world, which is the main source of income for Iran and for the government in Tehran. Of course, these sanctions have been imposed in conjunction and in compliance with pre President Trump's maximum pressure campaign meant to significantly derive uh, deprive Iran from exporting its oil to key European markets. Companies in the European Union have pulled out of businesses or stopped business deals with Iran, and Iran is looking for some sort of response from the remaining signatories to enable it to lessen the uh, damage of these, uh, of these sanctions. But you can't really disaggregate the nuclear deal with the ongoing tensions in the Arabian Gulf. We heard from the UK foreign minister that while the UK will be sending a marine time um, uh, convoy uh, to protect shipping, international shipping in the Arabian Gulf in conjunction with other European countries, that it is still going to remain in the nuclear deal. Of course, here the elephant in the room is the United States with the most powerful economy in the world. It's not going to be in Vienna. The Trump administration line still holds that they want Iran to come back and renegotiate a new deal. And of course, the government in Tehran has said that that will not happen anytime soon. Well, thank you very much, Vice Chairman.